but at least you see some kind of guy like that who are completely uh, passionated by wine. And I think that was good because that shows that wine is not just uh, something you drink. I think it's something a little bit more uh, complex than that. Winemakers, whatever, you know, I know a lot of people give winemakers a lot of props because they're almost like an alchemist, ooh, but really, it's funny because I work at a winery and people come over and they say, oh, is this the winemaking department? Is this where you make the wine? And I always say, no, 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 no. The wine's being made in the barrels. The wine makes itself. What we should really title ourselves is nectar keepers or wine keepers. It's really uh, sugar and yeast, and the byproducts are CO2 and alcohol. So nature takes care of most of that, but to control it and create something um, that you have an end game in mind with, um, I think that's the intention based. And his has something more to do with spirituality, vibrations, energy from the universe. So what's next for Ohm? You know, I just hope we can just continue making incredible wines and. And my, my intention and my goal would be for everybody to make wines with the intention and with the integrity that Ohm makes its wines.